So that uh, reaches the end of seated Worldcon stuff, uh, which means that we move on to Smofcon stuff. Who has Smofcon stuff? Let's see, we'll start with next year. Is there anybody stupid enough to bid for Smofcon next year? <laughs> Hello, stupid. All right, so you have five minutes of presentation and five minutes of Q&A. Your five minutes of presentation starts now. All right. Hello, my name is Helen Montgomery. I'm a fan from Chicago, and we are bidding to bring SMOFCON to Chicago next year, or possibly to Rosemont, possibly Milwaukee. Um, and if all else fails, we're going to go to Colorado Springs. <laughs> Uh, in all seriousness, the last couple months, uh, a friend of mine and I, she's a professional meeting planner, and we have been trying desperately to work with downtown Chicago hotels, and they are not being very cooperative, is a uh, understatement. Uh, so uh, we've run into things like $15,000 in F&B, we've run into $200 a night room nights, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we have currently, and Dave is going to end up being our uh, primary facilities person, and we do have one possibility in Chicago uh, that we're really pushing, which is the Chicago Hilton and Towers, uh, but we have not heard back from them yet uh, for certain. I'm not going to tell you a lot about downtown Chicago, because I think a lot of you already know a lot about downtown Chicago, um, So, but I do want to talk about plan B, which is Rosemont. Uh, how many people were at the last SMOFCON out there? Okay, it's very different now, <laughs> um, in a good way. So there are four hotels, there's a, uh, and I wrote this one down, there's a Embassy Suites, which is where the last one was, there's a Doubletree, a Hilton, and a Crown Plaza. Uh, all four of these hotels are about two miles from O'Hare, and they all have complimentary shuttles uh, to and from O'Hare. Uh, they're about 23 miles from Midway. Uh, it's about a 45-minute drive. If you took a cab, it's about 60 bucks. You can technically get from Midway to the hotels in Rosemont via the L, which would cost you $2.25 and about an hour and a half of your life. Um, and it's about 17 miles from downtown Chicago. It's right off of the Blue Line. All of the hotels are about a 10-minute walk from the Rosemont L stop. Alternatively, the complimentary shuttle to and from the airport, you can just take to the airport and then hop on the Blue Line at O'Hare uh, to get downtown. Um, as I said, there's been some changes there, uh, the, uh, primarily in that they've built this huge entertainment complex called MB Financial Park. <laughs> Um, and it's about a 200,000 square foot entertainment complex. There's eight restaurants of varying price points. There is a movie theater, a comedy club, live music venues, bowling, uh, and an NHL sized ice rink uh, for ice skating during the winter months, which would be during us. Uh, there's also uh, the Rosemont Theater and the fashion outlets of Chicago Mall are within walking distance. So there is actually now, for those of you who were there before, there's a lot more there to do. Not that any of you are going to want to leave the hotel or anything like that. I mean, I, but I figured I should mention it. Um, in terms of committee, uh, as I said, I would be the chair. David be, is uh, facilities. Tammy Coxon will be doing consuite. Um, we have our consuite beer wench. Is Deanna here? Somewhere? There she is. Beer wench. Uh, hey. And Lori Mann is going to be doing our website. Several other people. Um, uh, Leanne, Colin, uh, James, Deb, lots of other people have said to me at some point that they are willing to help, which is fabulous, um, and I'd like all of you to do that. Uh, we also have a, our official sponsor is Fandemonium, uh, which is the parent corporation for Capricorn, one of the local Chicago conventions. Uh, so they are going to be helping us out um, primarily by being our bank, uh, <laughs> amongst other things. So, uh, so thank you to them. Right now, the rates, the current plan is that it's going to be $60 with no planned increase until the door. Um, so, mind you, we'd still really like you to reg early. <laughs> that would be great to know that. Um, and then, of course, we will be doing the partner in tow uh, for $20, which gives your uh, mundane, non-fanish partner access to the con suite so they can hang out with everybody. The theme that we have come up with is opening conventions to everyone. And so there's kind of four main things that we want to focus on with that. One is the disability accessibility issues uh, that we've talked about a lot here, but that would be a big focus there. 
uh, reaching out to underrepresented communities, uh, how to create buy-in with your CONCOM and provide necessary training in some of these issues, and also working with other types of fan-run conventions in your area and sort of cross-promoting um, and working together with that. We're also planning to leave some program slots open until the last minute, the last week or two before the convention, so that if any hot topics do arise, uh, we have space to immediately put them someplace. And that's, I think, the bulk of it. Nine seconds left. Wow. Just as a note for continuing questioning, if you've got one, don't wave it in front of you. Hand way over your head so the question from spotters and runners can get you. Okay, thank you. All right, so Randy, you want to start first? Sure. Let's go. The Rosemont, has they, have they reduced their sales tax? I'm not sure how they could individually do that, but that's the, you know. Would you mind an answer from the head table? I guess since it's not sure. in Chicago, it's out of. It, it, it hasn't skyrocketed like Chicago's tax has. <laughs> there you go. I, I confess, I don't ever pay attention to sales tax on anything. <laughs> I just buy it. Um, okay, uh, so that's, that's a good one. All right. that one. Continuing with the Rosemont theme, are there any plans related to Midwest Fan Fest? Fur Fest. Fest, sorry. I mean, they're, well, they're located there at the same time. Or the, not the same time, but they're located there. But they're located there, yeah. I mean, and that's part of the, I was trying to understand the question, sorry. That's part of the, whole, the idea of uh, working with other fan run groups in the area, um, is that we want to get folks like, from FurFest, from Chicago TARDIS, which is the Doctor Who convention, um, uh, some of the anime conventions, et cetera, also involved in this. I, I am asking a question that we got multiple times. Is it true you're going to be at the Hyatt? Our bid theme remains the same from last year. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> it's the return of Rosemont. So what is the sales and meals tax in Chicago and Rosemont? In Chicago, I think it's like 10%. Yeah, okay. Chicago just went up to 10%. Rosemont is under 10%, but I cannot remember by how much. 9.5. Yeah, 9.5. So. Maybe 7. 12. So. D, all of the above. <laughs> and an important question for numbers. those of us from the south, how much snow can we expect and will there be an official snowball fight? That's a great question. So at Capricorn every year we have a plan for this. Um, every year we schedule a panel that we call Snow Goons after the Calvin and Hobbes uh, plan. And thus far, the years we have scheduled it, we have not been nuked by a blizzard. We, we never get so snow we'll the for same. the snow goons. Okay. <laughs> we never get snow for the snow goons. We've never actually been able to do the panel. Uh, another, another highly important question. Uh, isn't the outlet mall where you bought your Hugo dress? Why, yes. It is, in fact, where I bought the last two of them. <laughs> Thanks to Leanne. <laughs> okay. Thanks so we'll much for asking. That, that's the last one, yeah. And the final one, a major budgetary issue. How much is parking? At the hotel, I presume. I, I think it's like $10 a day in the, the, in the big ones. The big parking garage there is $10 a day. There's, there's, lots, of, there's lots of parking. Sounds so. reasonable. I'll bring two cars. Yeah. yeah. I apologize. That is the one thing I absolutely forgot to look up. So I've looked up a lot of other stuff. And the mall is pretty awesome. Two Hugo dresses. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. Thank you. Sit down. All right. So, any other presenters for next year? All right. Well, let's do a vote. Do we, do, do we have anybody that's for going to Chicago next year? Do we have anybody against going to Chicago next year? <laughs> The against lose. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the against still lose. Sorry, Helen, you're screwed. Uh, so when can people uh, do? When can people meet up with you and uh, buy memberships for next year? I didn't. You can answer it from there. Just shout. I have a microphone. I can repeat the answer. 
Um, I will, uh, I think Tim will loan me some space by Reg tomorrow. Yes. Um, I am not doing it tonight. Tonight I will be in the con suite with my laptop taking stories for the Journey Planet fan history issue. Come find me. Um, but no, tomorrow morning we will be able to do registrations, um, visa, MasterCard, checks, cash. Um, yeah. Uh, no. No, no children. Who wanted to offer me children? How dare you? <laughs> Why would you be so mean? Okay. All so right. yeah, tomorrow. Anything else? Right. That would be it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right.